Z-Space is a sort of three-dimensional computer. I was carrying a jet engine when I was using Z-Space. You can see inside of it. And also you can like manipulate it in different ways. You can't see inside of them when you, you see them in real life. When I think of the 3D experience that I'd like to see in the world. I think of the chess scene in Star Wars where Luke Skywalker is playing against Chewbacca and the chess pieces are right there in front of them. Z-Space can provide that experience. There was a meetup over in Mountain View at their old office where they were introducing a lot of indie game and app developers to Z-Space and immediately blew everyone's mind just what it is you're able to do with Z-Space, how easy it was to integrate with things that people were already working on. And what they're doing with it here is a lot more than just games and a lot more than just an interactive story. For medical students, it's very important to understand relationships of anatomical structures in the human body. And using our 3D models on the Z-Space really enhances the student's ability to understand those relationships. When an object in the real world is very close to you, if you move your head to the side, then you see a different angle to that object. And Z-Space picks up your head position and adjusts the picture that's rendered to the scene to give you that authentic parallax. Z-Space picks up the position of the stylus and, and you can sort of pick objects up and interact with them. The experience was so realistic that my brain had to tell my arm, well, this is obviously a, a real object that you're lifting, but you can't feel how heavy it is. So it must be paper thin and made of air. So that's two levels that Z-Space gives you above conventional 3D, parallax and proprioception. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can we get video of that? Yeah.